Why would Candace Cameron Bure stop making movies for the Hallmark Channel? And what is she planning to do next? Keep watching to learn about the new production team she'll be lending her talents to. Candace Cameron Bure has been the queen of Hallmark for over a decade, but to fans' surprise, her reign looks to be coming to an end. The actress has always been best known for her role as DJ Tanner on Full House, including her appraisal of the role in Netflix's mid-2010s revival, Fuller House. But outside of that role, she's best known for her Hallmark films. According to TV Line, Hallmark has cast Bure in the lead role of over 24 films since becoming a staple name for the network. Some of the actress's most memorable Hallmark films include A Shoe Addict's Christmas, If I Only Had Christmas, Switch for Christmas, and Journey Back to Christmas. These are just a few of Bure's Hallmark movies that are worth your time, though. How many Hallmark Christmas movies have y'all been in each? I've been in nine Christmas movies. Nine Christmas movies? Oh my gosh! In addition to dominating the Christmas season, Bure has also played a sleuth on the channel as librarian Aurora Teagarden in Aurora Teagarden Mysteries. In her most recent film, The Christmas Contest, Bure played a woman facing off against her ex-boyfriend to raise money for charity. It was her only holiday TV movie in 2021, according to IMDb. That makes a bit more sense, now with the revelation that Bure may be leaving her longtime network home for good. But just where is she going, and what will she be doing there? Candace Cameron Bure has ultimately chosen to leave Hallmark to pursue a career at GAC Family, Hallmark's biggest competitor at the moment. GAC, by the way, stands for Great American Channels, and GAC Family also happens to be airing nightly reruns of Fuller House. TV Line reports that Bure will not only act in and produce original content for the cable network, but also assume an executive position within the company. There, she will help GAC Family and GAC Living produce content in line with her goals and values, according to a press release. Vulture notes that GAC Family is a network that relies on faith and family, perhaps even more so than Hallmark. You're less likely to find content with gay or non-Christian characters on GAC Family, for example. That emphasis on Christianity may be another reason why Bure made the move. After all, Bure cites Faith as a reason why she's excited to work with GAC, which was formerly known as Great American Country. Bure explained in a press release from the network, I'm very excited to develop heartwarming family and faith-filled programming and make the kind of stories my family and I love to watch. I am constantly looking for ways that I can inspire people to live life with purpose. GAC fits my brand perfectly. We share a vision of creating compelling, wholesome content for an audience who wants to watch programming for and with the whole family. I feel so blessed that I've been able to share my faith and really um, it's been such a huge part of my career. Bure isn't the first to jump ship, however. Both Trevor Donovan and Danica McKellar left Hallmark for its competitor, too. Candace Cameron Bure is undoubtedly looking forward to another leadership role within family content creation. But with Hallmark's stellar track record of success, it has fans wondering why she's making the move. The Hallmark Channel has yet to make an official post about it on its Instagram page, but followers are piping up on totally unrelated posts. On an Instagram post meant to promote volunteering at animal shelters, one follower asked, Why did Candace Bure jump ship? What's going on with your company? Everyone is leaving. The answer is complicated. According to The Hollywood Reporter, GAC Family co-owner Bill Abbott was actually once the CEO of Hallmark Channel's parent company, Crown Media Family Networks. While Abbott was at the helm at Hallmark, the network came under intense scrutiny for removing ads featuring same-sex couples from its broadcasts. Hallmark Cards Inc. president and CEO Mike Perry eventually apologized. Abbott left the company a month later, raising questions about his involvement in those decisions. Now that some of Hallmark's biggest stars are leaving for GAC, fans are speculating about whether their motivation is a bigger paycheck or a chance to work with Abbott again. His history has made some actors wary of following him to GAC. Hallmark star Paul Campbell tweeted, I, like everyone else, will be keeping a close eye on the GAC content rollout. If there's a noticeable lack of meaningful inclusion, then no, I will not be working for that company. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more list videos about your favorite stars are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.